how do we test our visual acuity the chart used is called as snellens chart so let's understand this snellens chart and why it is used uh, to test the visual acuity as we discussed previously that visual acuity means uh, to be able to read the uh, fine details of an object to be able to see the details very clearly or to be able to identify two points separately that's visual acuity now let's understand the snellens chart first of all snellens chart is placed at 6 meters distance there is a chart and it has certain letters written in different sizes and you see uh, there are distances written alongside those letters so we have 6 9 12 18 24 36 and 60 and there are certain letters written in different sizes like this uh so first thing snellens chart is placed at 6 meters distance why is that because 6 meters is said to be the boundary for our uh near vision any object which is within 6 meters from the eyes is considered as the near object and the object which is beyond 6 meters any object from uh, our eyes uh, up to 6 from 6 meters up to infinity such an object will be called as distant object or far object so 6 meters is the boundary for the vision the other point is why 6 meters because the light rays coming from such an object which is placed at 6 meters or anywhere beyond 6 meters up to infinity the light rays coming from such an object the parallel rays coming from such an object would automatically converge on our retina it means we will not have to make any changes in our eyes or there would not be any changes occurring in our eyes to see that object that's why 6 meters is where we place this snellens chart 6 meters and anywhere beyond 6 meters up to infinity the distance from the eyes i'm talking about this object which is placed at such a distance the parallel rays coming from this object uh, from such an object will automatically converge on the retina in other words if the object starts coming closer within 6 meters distance 5 meters 4 meters 3 meters then certain changes have to be made in the eyes uh, the changes also occur automatically not that we uh, consciously make those changes they occur as a part of accommodation reaction so there will be changes in the eye uh if the object is within 6 meters and therefore to avoid these changes of accommodation we will place the snellens chart at 6 meters which is the boundary for far vision and near vision now coming to the chart itself if you see the letters they have been constructed in such a way that there is a line starting at 6 meters some charts also have a 5 meter line and then there are multiples of 6 these are distances in meters uh, barring this one 9 meters if you see all those distances they are in the multiples of 6 now what is the uh, principle behind this uh, these letters how they have been constructed they have been constructed in such a way that this letter for instance let's take only one letter and let's try to understand it through all the distances let's say h this h has been constructed in such a way that from 6 meters 
we should be able to read this letter clearly and why will be why will we be able to read this letter clearly see this h has these two uh, lines vertical lines in order to see those two vertical lines separately they should be subtending an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of the eye so these two lines they can be seen separately if they subtend an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of the eye we have already discussed this at the nodal point of the eye the angle subtended by any two points should be at least 1 minute or more than 1 minute but definitely not less than that so that is what is done by this letter or any other letter if we have to read this a clearly this e clearly all those lines any two lines can be seen separately for example this e can be read because any two lines of the e will subtend an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of the eye this is how the letters have been constructed and if you go up in the chart uh where there is 60 written that means that big letter can be read from 60 meters distance should be read by uh, from 60 meters distance because from 60 meters distance those two lines of the h will subtend an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of the eye so it is something like this the nodal point of the eye and this letter at 6 meters this is at 36 meters and same letter at 60 meters those lines will subtend 1 minute angle this is just a diagrammatic uh, representation the lines will subtend 1 minute angle the letter has have been constructed in such a manner uh so those letters should be read from those particular distances Six meters, thirty-six meters, sixty meters. This is how the letters have been constructed. The angle will be one minute, subtended by any two uh, details, any two lines of a particular letter or particular the particular object. Now, uh, therefore, a normal person, if he or she is able to read the last line in the Snellen's chart. last line that corresponds with 6 meters if the person is able to read the last line clearly in the snellen's chart then we will denote the vision of that person as 6 by 6 that is a normal person is able to or should be able to read this uh, line from 6 meters and the person this person the subject is also able to read this uh, letters these letters from 6 meters and therefore the vision is 6 by 6 so denominator is for the normal person a normal person should be able to read this line from 6 meters and a normal person should be able to read the topmost line from 60 meters right so denominator in this snellen's notation this is the snellen's notation let's say 6 by 6 a normal person is able to read this line from 6 meters and this individual this subject who we are testing is also able to read this line from the 6 meters distance because we have placed the snellen's chart at 6 meters and the person is able to read this last line that means the person's vision is normal the person's visual acuity is normal 6 by 6 now what if the person is not able to read anything below this first line the person is only able to read that first line 
and nothing below that can be read by the person clearly the person's visual acuity has reduced and what do we write then 6 by 60 so that means the understanding of this Snellen's notation would be a normal person is able to read this topmost line topmost letter from 60 meters but our subject is able to read this letter, letter from 6 meters only we have placed the Snellen's chart at 6 meters so person is able to read this letter from 6 meters he is not able to read anything below that that would be the Snellen's notation uh, for this particular individual who is able to read only the topmost letter, to uh, only first line. That's how we interpret the Snellen's notation. It is uh, used to diagnose the myopia and uh, the degree of myopia, which would be corrected by biconcave lens. Now, just one last detail that needs to be understood. Why is it? that the letters have been constructed in such a way that they should be read in the multiples of 6. Last line 6 meters and then there is one exception that is 9 uh, meters but after that 12 meters, 18 meters, 24 meters, 36 meters, 60 meters. Why is it that the these letters have been constructed so as to be able to read from multiples of 6 meters, there is a reason to that. I mean, see, the letters could have been 10 meters, 15 meters, 20 meters also, possibly. I mean, they could have constructed a letter which is read by a normal person from 15 meters. Yes, it could have been constructed. But there is a reason to this. If a Snellen's notation is 6 by 60 means normal person is able to read this letter from 60 meters but this person our subject is only able to read it from 6 meters and is not able to read anything below that Snellen's notation is 6 by 60 that means the person's minimum visual angle the person's minimum separable visual angle is reciprocal of the Snellen's notation reciprocal of that person's Snellen's notation that is the person's minimum visual angle would be 1 upon 6 by 60 that is 60 upon 6 and that is 10 minutes for a normal individual whose Snellen's notation is 6 by 6, the minimum separable visual angle is 1 minute. Remember, we have discussed this, that the two, op, uh, the two points can be seen clearly if they subtend an angle of at least 1 minute. That's a minimum requirement. So, 1 minute angle is the minimum separable. In this case, the person's Snellen's notation being 6 by 60, his or her minimum visual angle would be 10 minutes. That is, the person is able to see the two points clearly, separately, only if they subtend an angle of 10 minutes or more than 10 minutes at the nodal point of the eye. So, uh, in order to be able to calculate this very easily, the letters have been constructed in the multiples of 6. So that when we get a person's Snellen's notation, for instance, uh, we write 6 by 18 for an individual. That means the person is able to, uh, the normal person is able to read particular line from 18 meters. But our subject is able to read this line from 6 meters only. So his or her Snellen's notation would be 6 by 18. And, the, and therefore, we immediately calculate the person's minimum separable visual angle. It would be 18 upon 6, that is uh, 3 minutes. That means, when the objects are separated by a distance that subtends 3 minutes angle in this, in this individual, only then the person is able to see those two objects separately. So, that's how, uh, that is the 
understanding of the Snellen's notation and Snellen's chart, it enables us to easily calculate the minimum separable or uh, visual angle uh, subtended at the nodal point for a normal individual or for somebody with myopia. Let me just add one last point in this. What if the person is semi-literate or not literate at all? A person is not able to read uh, anything uh, in the sense that the person uh, has not been introduced to the letters and words. What is the solution for it? What is the alternative? In that case, uh, A, we have Snellen's chart in all the languages in the world. For instance, Snellen's chart uh, is available also in Devanagari script or various other scripts uh, used uh, all over the world. If the person has not even uh, read his or her own local language, then completely not literate, then what do we do? Yes, then uh, there would be dots. And the dots will carry the same principle. There would be circles. For example, at 6 meters, there would be these dots with a certain size. And the person should be able to count those dots. So, how is it that the person is able to count these dots? Because the person sees those dots separately. And how is it that the person is able to see the dots separately? Because any two dots, again the principle remains the same, any two dots can be seen separately if they subtend an angle of one minute. That is, their, the distance between the two points is such that they subtend one minute's angle at the nodal point of the eye. So, th that is how they can be seen separately. This will be uh, 6 meters and uh, for 60 meters, the dots would be of different size. The principle though remains the same. What if the person is not able to even count the dots? Counting also has not been introduced to a person. Then what? Then there is a uh, there is an alternative to this uh, uh, Snellen's chart which is called as Landolt's rings. Landolt's rings or Landolt's C rings, sometimes called as Landolt's C rings. That is, in the place of just counting of the circles or dots, there would be uh, the C shaped rings which will be open on one side. So, the person has to just answer this uh, to the examiner uh, at what side the ring is open. So, it will the rings will be open at uh, in different directions and the person has to just indicate whether it's to the open to the right or left or up or down. And Again, the principle will remain the same that the person is able to see this that the rings are open at in which direction because those two points have to be seen separately. These two points which are, uh, which are breaking the ring open, they have to be seen separately and the person is able to see those two points separately because they subtend an angle of one minute so uh, at the nodal point. So therefore, uh, that one minute angle is a very important concept that the image, the, the objects should be separated by the bare minimum certain distance which subtends that one minute angle or more than one minute. It should not be closer than that. So that's again the principle for Stellan's chart and uh, is the interpretation of the Snellen's chart and the alternatives, substitutes to the Snellen's chart.